Welcome back to the channel, GIA Automotive. I'm in the S class and um, I'm going to be removing that bracket that I had did a video previously on um, when I removed the, the cell phone in here. Um, we left off with the bracket still left in place there. It's um, kind of an inconvenience. I want, to, I want it out of there too. So um, go ahead and remove those Phillips screws behind there that you see. That's one. And then there's the other one right there. And once you do that, get your get your key inside that that locking ring, that locking cylinder, and um, get the smallest Allen that you can you can find. And uh, let's see the size. It's a point zero five, the smallest one. And then I couldn't figure out, I finally figured it out where to turn the key exactly. As soon as you put the key in like this, you turn it just slightly like on the one o'clock position. And then you put your Allen your Allen uh, key in there and you'll feel it go in and once you feel it feel the allen key go in you're gonna move move this up and down a little bit and uh, be careful because the tumblers will fall out if you don't watch what you're doing so These tumblers here will fall out. So um, what you can do is put a piece of tape on it and um, make sure they don't fall out. I'm gonna put it to the side real carefully. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, So now, next is that Phillips screw, the Phillips screw um, that's in there, you'll see it. There it is. We're gonna unloosen that one and that will give me clearance. This this button unit will come out just enough to pull this um this whole piece out. So Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that like button if you like what's going on here. Um,
go. Now we can remove this bracket. It's just a Phillips screw right on the top. This Phillips screw right there will release that bracket in the inside. And that's what the back of that looks like. Um, there's a Phillips right behind there. I didn't, I don't know where that came from. That's nothing with me, but there it is. So, um, I'm gonna fish out these cables and feed them down to the bottom eliminate them and um, be done with this little project here and then I'm gonna tighten that butt back up and slide that uh, locking the locking ring the locking cylinder back into its place um, hold on one second let's get out that bracket Bracket. Get way out of the way now. And So I've carefully snaked back in these uh, cables. Later on, I'm gonna disassemble the bottom and maybe I can just cut them out. Take them out completely without cutting them off. So initially, I thought I was gonna have to um, cut that bracket out of there and then I thought about how much more of a hassle it was going to be and how tedious it was going to be so I decided to go the next step and just remove it properly so now um, back in now oh I 
forgot to grab that screw that's at the top. I don't know where the screw came from. You know, oh, that, that screw was from the other side of the bracket didn't have when this radio when this phone was installed one side was loose um, Uh, so these tumbers came out and they're gonna keep popping out now because I took the key out again all right here we go all right so what happened was the tumbler came out I took the key out and uh, the locking cylinder didn't sit in right and when I took the key out right here when I took the key out right here and it wasn't sitting in place, one of the, the tumblers popped right out. So I had to uh, put it back in place and jiggle the key up and down until it got back in. So if you do that, that's what you gotta do. Um, one last tip, don't flip this face, face it downwards because I lost the screw here. Now I gotta look for it under the seat. No big deal, I'm gonna find it right now. but. Um, yeah, so there now I got nice room inside for whatever I want um, and um, the brackets completely out of the way now so that's that was the objective for this little project here 
Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys on the next one.